Gary Callan, and these are GRIP's top stories of the week. The Tonight Show on Virgin Media stirred controversy after a discussion about white privilege and the need for white Irish people to recognise the advantages their skin colour has given them. A Fine Gael counsellor talked about how a particular book had helped her friend realise white privilege was real. Reaction was, shall we say mixed, with many people unhappy at the attempt to affix America's toxic and fundamentally childlike understanding of race onto the Irish experience. Personally, I got through nearly the entire clip before I realised the book they were talking about wasn't Harry Potter. In a shocking turn of events that absolutely no one could have seen coming, it was discovered that the chair of the upcoming independent review into abortion was herself a supporter of the repeal of the Eighth Amendment. This shocking news came after it was found that the person appointed to head up the review of research to be used by the independent review had actively campaigned to repeal the Eighth Amendment. I just can't figure out how these people who reflect the views of the government keep getting appointed to oversee these independent committees. John McGurk wrote about Judge Nolan's latest judgments, in which Zara McCabe, a woman the Irish Independent says has 21 previous convictions, beat a homeless man to the extent that he required an ambulance, was given 150 hours of community service. The homeless man killed himself shortly after being beaten by Miss McCabe. The piece also discussed a previous judgment of Judge Nolan's, in which a man who came into his neighbour's house and sexually assaulted his neighbour while her eight-year-old son lay in the bed beside her was given a two-year suspended sentence. Judge Nolan said that he didn't think the crime justified an immediate custodial sentence. Possibly worth reminding people that Gript has been calling for Nolan to be impeached and removed from his role since 2019. Gript revealed that a report by the Higher Education Authority of Ireland, which had said that 34% of third-level students were raped during their time in college, was fundamentally flawed and basically worthless. When contacted, the HEA didn't even try and defend the report, instead saying it reflected the lived experiences of respondents. Given how seriously we should take the issue of sexual violence, a public body like the HEA pushing out work this flawed should be a scandal, but most likely no one but us will mention it and the entire affair will be quietly forgotten. A Senator's call for a national celebration on World Hijab Day was met with fury from the Alliance of Former Muslims. The Alliance called Senator Eileen Flynn's comments appalling, saying that the hijab was designed to oppress women and represented their status as property in Islam. They called on the Senator to withdraw her remarks and engage with ex-Muslim women. 